friends. I needed to do just a little bit of makeup. And so I decided, who's at the door? Oh, maybe it's just the wind. Um, I wanted to hop on because this week I've been talking about um, teen makeup with back to school happening sooner <laughs> than I really wish. Um, I have been talking about the teen makeup and knowing that, um, my girl's not there yet. She's interested in some makeup, but not a lot, but I thought I would hop on to kind of talk about what I would start with. Um, and I just really wanted a really light makeup look today. Um, my husband invited his coworker and their family over. So I wanted to, um, <clears throat> Just do a little makeup for that. Nothing too fancy. It's not like a really big thing. But um, so talking about teen makeup, I've already been talking about how this cream makeup is going to be really, really good for sensitive skin. And I say sensitive for youth because their, their skin is so delicate. It is so... Um, it's like at the age where they're dealing with a lot of hormones and acne and all of that kind of stuff. That was kind of fun. Um, and so, um, Saints 3D foundation only has 11 ingredients in it and I probably can say them all. And so I think it's really important to know what your daughter is putting on their face. And so, um, that's a good place to start is looking at like what kind of, um, ingredients are in makeup. Then also, um, and I should say, as I'm talking about teen makeup, this is also for ladies who maybe you've never worn makeup. You're interested in maybe just kind of tiptoeing and trying a little something. This might be perfect for you. So I grabbed a palette eight. Now, if they just want like basic, like coverage and that's it, um, I would suggest a four and you'd have four, in, um, just four products. Now this one would normally be a full size tin. That's just the color I wanted. And I only have a half size tin. Now, if they also like to do eyeshadows or maybe have some other choices, then I would do the eight so that I'm working with an eight today. Um, but you could really four or eight would really be a good way to start with a, um, with a young little lady in this size, perfect size of like my hand fit in their backpack for after gym class or on the bus on the way to school or just to put on their like nightstand when they get up. Okay. So usually for younger ladies, I want to do a lot lighter coverage and I suggest the shape brush. And so the first product I'm going to go into is the main highlight shade, which is, um, here for me, it's Athens, but it is what I would, um, color match um, them too. And it's specifically to match their, um, their coloring. So I'm just going to go in very lightly and I'm just going in like bouncing motions just to pick up some product. And then I'm kind of just swirling it. This is going to give you the lightest coverage. And depending on if they're very, um, if there's already a lot of acne going on or a lot of like, um, scarring or whatever you have, um, and you might not want like as light of a coverage, maybe you want more coverage. I would then suggest the 3d brush. This is going to give you more of a medium coverage. So it kind of depends on your gal and, um, what you're looking for. The nice thing about starting out this way with the shape brush, it's very, um, cream foundation is very buildable. So this is just one layer, very, very, very light. And you can even go in with a smaller end if you wanna just pinpoint around your eyes and stuff. Um, so you can see that it didn't like completely get rid of all my redness, but it really evened me out. Now, the nice thing, like I said, it's super buildable. I can go back in and add another layer. And instead of just the swirling motion, I can do a pressing motion. And that is going to give me even more coverage. 
using that same brush. Can you see that? Okay, so even if you have a brush that's supposed to give you lighter coverage, the cream foundation is so buildable. So you can just go in with a little bit more product and also like how you apply it. So I'm not doing swirling motions now. I'm doing like a pressing motion. This is going to give more coverage using that same brush. Okay. So that is the main foundation. Now some ladies, some girls, this might be all they need. Now some ladies, some girls might not need any kind of coverage, okay? And they just want a little extra warmness, definition, that kind of thing. Because there's some girls that have the most beautiful skin and there's really not much that they need to do. I should have closed my window behind me. Look, <laughs> it's just like glaring, sorry. Um, okay, so what I would suggest, now if you have been following along, I often do contour. I think for young girls, yes, you can do contour and it, like, it can look great, but I like to try to keep it very simplistic. Now, and like less products. <laughs> so what I usually suggest, um, and this is even for my customers who don't wear makeup. Um, I've had a customer who was like, I kind of want to try this out. I don't know where to start. And I said, trust me, we're going to start with these two products and that's it. And she loved it. Now this is bronzer. Um, this one is our newest one, Xanadu. Now we're going, oh, I just got into my, <laughs> oopsies. Do you see it? I, I got my lip and cheek there. Let me be careful when you go into there. I'm just going to pull it out. So, um, the bronzer I'm going to place in the same places I would normally do contour. So it's going to give me warmth. It's going to give some dimension. So I'm not just all white all over. It's going to like, do you see how it already looks like I have like a natural tan up there going on? And it's just giving my face a little bit more structure after evening out my skin tone. So they can place that contour in the same place, or not contour, the bronzer, just like you're going to be doing with um, contour. I like to bring it down my chin. I mean, my jaw. What is this called? My neck. Um, because I just don't get sun right here, you guys. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so super simple, just two products. And they're already gonna start getting some dimension and shape right here and even just some warmth, okay? Then the third color I would suggest is that they would pick whatever, I can give suggestions, but they can pick whatever lip and cheek that they want. Now this is um, Ruby, this is the color I wanted to have tonight. It's nice and bold. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit on my cheeks and then we'll blend that out. Let me grab a Kleenex quick so I can wipe my fingers off. So the lip and cheek color can be any color that they would like. Um, if they like to have glossies or if they would prefer to have more of a matte color, they can pick whatever one they want. There we go. We have bright, we have bold, we also have very subtle, just plain glasses. Um, we also have our newest um, uh, lipstick called um, Diamonds Are Forever to add a little shimmer and gloss and that's very pretty too. And then last but not least is Illuminator. And um, this is so good for younger girls. Um, most of them <laughs> love to have like that little shine and shimmer. And so this one, I picked our most recent one called, um, Stardust, but we have lots of different colors and this is just our cream 
and I went a little wild on it, but you're gonna put that, just tap it on the higher points of your cheekbones, not down here like I just did, <laughs> um, on the tip of your nose, and then even up here, like that. And you just get a nice glow. when the sun hits. And really those four products is perfect for a little girl just starting out. And of course you could have one to four products. You could decide what, what she would like, what you want her to have, but you can see that it's very natural. It's not like I looked cakey. Of course I picked a bold lip, so it does seem like I have makeup on, but um, it's really, really just as simple as that. Um, and then I just wanted to show a quick eye look. Um, something super simple, especially for those starting out. I show this often in person makeovers and parties that I do, um, just to show how simple this really can be. So I just go in to this dark brown shimmer and put it on the outer corner of my eye. I'm gonna do it on my other one. It's like if you have like fingers <laughs> in these colors, and one little brush to blend it all together, you're good to go. So then I have this orangey, coppery shimmer that goes in the middle, like so. And then this light champagne shimmer just in the center. Then I'm just gonna take a, um, just a fluffy eyeshadow brush, starting in the middle and brush outwards. And then just blend it like that. See how very natural this could be. I think this would look really good on like anybody. And you can do this with other colors too. If you're not into these colors, I could help you pick out a few colors that would look good together. Um, my window, I'm sorry. It's like windows bother me. And then I did put in a darker color here on the other end. They can always tap just a little bit on that outer corner. just to deepen and you can see I'm not like being all like I'm just putting it on it's not a big deal no it doesn't have to be hard and then I'm just going to look up and put it on the bottom lash line here like so So the really nice thing about this makeup is it all is in one compact, but it's completely customizable. So you're a girl and you can sit down, um, you can talk with me or just sit down and look at the, um, at, uh, I was going to say catalog, but not catalog, the website and pick out what colors she likes and create your own palette. Um, don't forget the more tins that you do pick out, there is palette credit. And so often you can end up getting that palette for like, seven dollars five dollars sometimes even free depending on what size and how many tins you buy um and that is a great way to save a little money by taking um advantage of that palette credit so i'm just going to put a little mascara on and even mascara is a really um great place to start with a little bit of makeup if your daughters are interested um Saint does not have a mascara. So whatever is your favorite, or I can make suggestions of my favorites as well. But um, my daughter just recently was interested in mascara. So I got her one and I know she liked looking in the mirror and seeing herself. Just opens up your eyes, brings out your those beautiful eyelashes. Little girls have the prettiest little eyelashes, I swear. Little boys do too. Why do they always get the prettiest, prettiest eyes or eyes, um, eyelashes? There we go. So let me know if you have a young lady who is starting to be interested in makeup and you want to put a palette together with her or for her, um, or that you just are interested in trying out some makeup yourself. I would love to give you some suggestions and get you color matched. Um, if you are local to me, like in the central Iowa um, area, or you're up by my parents in southern Minnesota, <coughs> send me a message and we can talk about 
um, getting together and doing in-person makeover and you can try out the makeup. But if you are local here right now um, and you have a young daughter that wants to try out makeup, you want me to show them and do like a makeup lesson, I can totally do a free complimentary um, makeup lesson for her as well. I would love to do that. So just um, send me a message and I would love to do that and get her ready for school. But there we go. I got to start grilling and getting all the food ready for tonight. But thanks for hopping on. Say hi if you're here or if you're watching this in replay. I'd love to see who caught the video. So talk to you later.